Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I get a lot of questions about hair loss and what's the cause of it. Is it genetics? Can it be prevented or even reversed? Unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation about this topic. For example, most people, including the experts, say how the cause is too much testosterone. When in reality, guys who are losing hair actually have less testosterone. In fact, a high percentage are actually have clinically low levels of testosterone. Now, the reality is that these balding guys have higher levels of what I call negative or aging hormones, such as female hormones and higher levels of DHT, uh, thyroid imbalances, and higher levels of stress hormones, such as cortisol, which are the real causes of hair loss. Now, these hormonal imbalances end up actually lowering your testosterone and ultimately triggering hair loss or man boobs, lower libido, less muscle, depression and moodiness, loss of drive, and more belly fat. Now, if you think about it, it makes sense. Like teenagers and guys in their 20s have the highest testosterone levels, and yet they are not losing their hair. Unfortunately, as you age, there is an increase in these negative hormones causing a decrease in your testosterone, and that's when the hair loss starts and actually the body hair increases. And the older you get, the worse everything becomes. In fact, this is why 40% of men over the age of 40 are balding and have lower testosterone levels. Additionally, all of these hormonal imbalances are causing inflammation in your body, which is a common trigger for hair loss. Now, if you have itchy scalp, that's inflammation. If you have joint pain, that's inflammation. Anyways, if you're concerned about hair loss or anything related to hormonal imbalances and accelerated aging, then make sure you watch this video because this will be the most important information you'll ever hear about this topic. However, don't worry, I'm not going to make it complicated or super medical or technical. I've simplified it, all of this for you in five short, easy to digest videos, right? Each one will be about two minutes or less. And in each video, you'll discover proven solutions that you can easily implement so you can see fast improvements and results. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do so now so you don't miss any of the future updates about this or similar topics. So with that said, let's go to part two, low testosterone and hair loss.